We are sharing a bug bed. For some reason, we were in the dance tournament. Yeah, Joe Sugg would absolutely love that house. The boy, look at him. Grrr. Good morning, guys. How is it going? And welcome to the vlog. Um, now, just thinking what we are doing today. What are we doing today? So, my good mate Brad, one of my best mates from uh, home, he is going to Australia soon, back to Australia for, I think it's a couple of years. Um, and I don't see him that often. And uh, when I do, we always have just like the best time ever. I, I grew up with him. I literally lived next door to his house and we just always hung out and we're just best mates. And even when he does go away for like a year, when he does come back, it seems like he hasn't even been away at all um, because we are genuinely really, really good mates. He's actually leaving in a couple of weeks. So I am going to go to the Cotswolds where they're staying and uh, we're just going to hang out for the day. Brad, Brad's mum, me and uh, Sally, my mum. We're all going to hang out and uh, just like, have a really good time. We're going to stay over there and just have a really nice couple of days. So I'm looking forward to this, looking forward to getting out of London. Now, before we go on to the Cotswolds, my good friend Ant Middleton has sent me over a video to watch and he wants me to react to it for the release of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So ladies and gentlemen, grab onto your chairs, get your popcorn and let's react to a video. Okay, are we ready? I'm slightly nervous, but I'm very excited. Let's go. Stealthy living guide with Ant Middleton. Through many years' service as a covert special forces operative, I've learned to survive conditions of extreme danger in hostile enemy territory. I'm scared already. Ant Middleton is not <laughs> Ant Middleton is not a guy to mess with. Like I've done various things with him before, and um, he's a serious guy. He's a serious guy. You do not want to get on the bad. bad I was going to say bad foot or bad en bad end of this guy. You don't want to do that. In these perilous situations, stealth has always been my strongest ally. You are See, behind I'm just not enemy stealthy. lines. Dinner date. A reconnaissance mission doomed to failure. See, right, so he's on a dinner date. This woman obviously does not want to be there because he's eating spaghetti. How is she going to get rid of him? She's going to walk out. She's going to cause a diversion. She's going to throw something on him. What's she going to do? The enemy is at arm's length. It's time to retreat. retreat. You need to get out, but how? Act fast, use your fear. Throw Create a jug over him. a stealth diversion. Be decisive. Oh, did I not say that? A stealth diversion? I actually said that. <laughs> Maybe I should be the new Ant Middleton. No, I'm literally like an absolute scaredy cat. I'm scared of everything. Commit. Oh, they did throw him! No way! Wait, wait, two things I said was diversion, and I said, th okay, someone else threw it over him, but I said that she was gonna throw a glass over him, because then he'd have to go and clear up. So far, I'm a pretty good guesser. If your diversion has been successful, exit with stealth. Just run away. She's just going like this. Oh! How do I get back up? Help me. How do how the hell do I get back up now? Oh, God. Whew. You are heading back to HQ from a covert night mission. The night Team mission. Team members are sleeping. Stealth here is essential. You know what? This has been me just all the time. Like when I used to live back with my parents' house, if I came in late, it was just a stealth mission to be quiet and to get in the house without waking them up. Many times I did it without, you know, them hearing anything. But there was one time I came back you know, been out with some friends, came back, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to raid the fridge and the cupboards for all the food. And I was not stealthy because my dad came down in his dressing gown and was just like, Ollie, what are you doing? And I had evidence everywhere of what I did. So I was very much not stealthy in that situation. Priority is to disable all security systems. Yep. Navigate tough terrain. Potential ground hazards abound. You know what? I've done that before though. I, I've had that where, no, when I was actually a little kid and I was, was I sneaking? I think I was sneaking downstairs to see if Father Christmas was planting any presents and I had loads of toys out. I always used to like leave my car toys and like these little like night figurines out and I like slipped on this toy car and again, I completely revealed my location and what I was doing. So, uh, I mean, thinking I am the, the, better than Aunt Middleton, I think it's completely wrong. I'm really not. <laughs> I'm really not from just me talking about this, I'm like, yeah, I'm actually not good at all. With extreme care, Gotta be watch careful. your foot placement. Noise is the enemy. 
Stay silent. Be quiet. Don't make a move. Uh, Stealth oh. mission. Also, creaky floorboards. Literally, in my old, in my, in my house with my parents, the floorboards are just the creakiest things in the world. How do you get past a creaky floorboard? I don't think there is a solution. Once you've got on a creaky floorboard, you're doomed. Accomplished. Regroup. Recover. Friday, 11:03 a.m. Hungover. You've returned to base from late night covert ops. Now you need to go off grid and stay off grid. It's time to make a full stealth intel assessment the phone out the of window. keeping below the radar. One simple step. Enter. Or just go on aeroplane mode. Either throw the, throw the phone out the window and break it and lose it forever, or just go on aeroplane mode. Yeah, I guess that's probably the best thing to do. Ghost mode. Now you are invisible. Well done. Stealth mission accomplished. Wait. Wait, so his stealth mission was to go in aeroplane mode so that he could then look at his text messages without seeing that he's read them? And then they booked him a car, a taxi to the airport, and now he's all good? I don't think that would work for me. I think people would just leave me and they'd just go to the airport without me. Oh. Tom Clancy's go to recon breakpoint. Out now. It's out now. Oh no, PlayStation, Xbox One, and PC. That was cool, that was cool. Thank you, Ant, for sending me that over. I hope you guys liked that little video. Um, I enjoyed reacting to it. And uh, you know what? Let's, 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 I, I, I wanna play this game now. I actually wanna play this game, but I, I'm gonna have to get better at being stealthy because otherwise I'm gonna fail badly. And there we are. Wow, that looked, uh, that was good. That was good. Thanks, Ant, for sending that over. I've heavily enjoyed watching that video. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint is now available on PS4 for Xbox and PC. So if you want to go and check it out, I highly suggest you go and do that right now. Right, we're off. Let's set the trip going. Oh, there's so much noise. Oh my God. Listen to that. That is going to give you a headache. Uh, oh my God. What? It says it's going to take three hours and two minutes. What? I didn't think it was going to take this long. I haven't had a toilet break. I'm feel like I'm not prepared for this trip. Oh, this is gonna be a long drive. Right, we've just arrived. I was here for like half an hour before everyone else arrived. But here's Brad, <laughs> here's mum. Nikki, she's getting ready somewhere. But we are sharing a bunk bed. Look at this. Little change of hostel life. I didn't think this was gonna happen. I didn't I didn't even think we were gonna be on a bunk bed, but this is great. Brad's gonna, are you gonna go top bunk? Or bottom uh, bunk? No, no, no. You're gonna go top bunk. Is top bunk better than bottom bunk though? Bunk I kind of thought, I bottom thought, I, th bed. yeah, but I feel like you've bottom got more room. Look, there's not, God, I've got no much breathing yeah. room here. My feet, Where's... my feet are going to be out the window. <laughs> <laughs> open the window. Open the window, your feet are going to be out. The rabbit's going to save you. Right, we're going to go to the uh, pub, have a couple of drinks. Have a couple of drinks. And uh, then we'll probably be back sleeping. So, we've, uh, we, we, we've been at the pub for a couple of hours now. Had a couple of beers uh, and also a couple of gins as well. This is what we've been drinking. This, this is what we've been drinking. It almost looks like tadpole eggs in here. I don't know what it is. What is it, mum? What did you say this was? Juniper. Do you know what I mean? When you remember? No, no, no. These, these balls. Yeah, soda. What are the balls? What are the balls? Uh, balls of dreams. Balls. We got balls, balls of dreams, dreams in our drinks. We got beer. Balls of dreams. <laughs> 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 So we just rocked up at this uh, bar and we, we, we're in a darts tournament. For some reason, we we're in a darts tournament. We're doing quite well. We're doing pretty well. It's my turn now. Ron and Connor, what can he throw? Oh, what's he going to do? Oh, oh. Has he got 12? Oh, he's got 20. What else? Oh, he's got an 18. Connor has done very well. Right, we're going for this. I've been doing pretty well so far. Right. God, I was... Oh, 18. Good. 20. 43, baby. This is Henry. Henry's going up. Oh, Henry's hit the big old 19. Henners. Oh, he's got again. Oh, Henners. Henners. That will do, Henners. That will bloody do, mate. Well done. Okay, what's up, What's happening? Okay. He's got a double one. Double one. He had two left. Double one. He's won. He's only got a one. Ollie White has done it for the team. He's done it for the team. Not gonna lie, I'm absolutely buzzing. I did amazing. I bloody won it for the team. Cheers.
So, well, last night was eventful. There was a very intense darts match that was going on between me and Brad and two other guys. Can't remember their names. Uh, I ended up walking home on my own. Uh, Brad stayed out for longer. Good morning. So. <laughs> So we've got a coffee in this morning. We're going to go to the gym, which is down the road. Apparently there's an obstacle course, and you know me, I just love the gym so much. So uh, we're going to be doing obstacle courses everything today. So, uh, <laughs> yep, and then I've got to upload a video, and then we go for another walk, and then we're going to stay another night here. So uh, first day was great. Second day, let's do it. Oh, the gym lad. Oh, look at that form. The 25 kg dumbbells. We find Bradley Turner in his prime natural habitat. The gym. Sepp is bulging. Go on, go on, it's gonna get bigger. The more you do, it's gonna get bigger. Go on, keep going, keep going. I'm just Brad's coach for the day. I have, uh, I have been working out myself. Look, sweat, there's evidence, wait. See, evidence. It's recording, yeah? <laughs> I don't know if it is. Is there a red light? Oh yeah, yeah, it is actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at him. Look deep into that mirror, boy. Do what you gotta do. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, look at him go, oh wow. <laughs> Them results are just showing. Go, we're moving on to the other weights. Look at this one. I'm in 80 kg or something behind this. Meet Ed Brad over here, just takes in his stride. <laughs> cool, now he's taking me to the dog house, the playground yeah, outside. Oh. I'm absolutely knackered. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I do like a good old tire flip though, that is one thing I like. Flipping the old tires. This one over here, that's a bit of me, that is. Go on, lad, that's you. It's a bit of me. The boy, look at him. What a cool meat, Woo! That's a wanna. Give me tree, give me tree. Go on, son. Go on, go on, lad. Go on. Get your breaths in. One more. And the big three. The big three's coming. Go on, son. Go on. Woo. the playground. The playground continues over to the log. Shot put. Shot put. Nice. Nice, nice. So nice around here. I'm more interested in like the sheep. Look, there's little sheep over here. There's chickens that way. Look, this little guy. Hey, you can't even really see, can you? Your eyes are covered. You can't see. Where am I going? I can't see. Here she is, the chickens. This is so nice. Like, look, they got so much space to run around in. How you doing? So much grass as well. If you are hungry, you got the grass for days. And this one up here is like, oh yeah, right. I'm in charge here. You all better listen to me. Sorry, I'm shaking, my muscles are hurting. I'm in charge here, you better all listen to me. Lay your eggs and we won't have a problem. The sheep over here is just staring at me. He's staring me out. We got Sally and Nikki in the kitchen cooking up a storm. What have we got? The mother's trees. Oh wow. We're being spoiled right here. Salmon, avocado, toast. What else? We've got some eggs. Yep. That looks nice. Actually, so they're cooked a No, it's fine. Good. That looks lovely though. Yum. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. So, uh, feeling much better after that beautiful breakfast and that gym session. It was a bit of a heavy one last night, but we're off for a walk now. The exercise is just Beautiful, going, fresh air. and Brad has just, he's just got his top off, you know, like, he's just got his body out, because, you know, you've got camouflage it, jumper on, can't so see me. can't see him. He's just out here, but it's so nice around here. Like it's literally like, look how beautiful it is. Like these houses, Joe Sugg would absolutely love that house. 
he could tell you everything about that straw on that house probably. The Thatcher. The Thatcher. That straw was 43 years old. It's come from the best fields you can imagine. Oh, look at this. Holly bush. And uh, yeah, just walking around. This is what you do. This is what you do when you're in the village. You just go for walks and go to another pub. <laughs> which we'll probably do in a bit. <laughs> oh, there's more straw houses. Joe would have a fill day. An absolute fill day. Brad's got some facts to say. Go on, Brad, Brad's tell us. Facts. Here Brad's it is. facts, go on. That castle over there. Yep. Was sent this one. Henry VIII. Yep. To get burnt down. Yep. Back in the day. And that one right there. They, on the books, they just put it down as burnt down. He ticked off his list. Really? It's a lie. It's still standing. He's a liar! If Henry VIII knew, then he'll be back here you lie down. We're walking through the field, getting the shoes dirty, breathing in. That fresh air. Oh, and excited. <laughs> breathing in that cow poo. Beautiful. So nice, so different to London. London's just noise and cars here. Just listen for a sec. It's like nothing. Just amazing. Like you can actually just think here. You can actually like think properly. Oh, there's some blackberries here. Do you think they do you think they'll be good to eat? Yeah, of course it will. I'm gonna get a stomach ache. No, I'm gonna get a stomach ache with a blackberry. Oh, it's so sweet. Mmm. We think we're going the right way, but um, we'll find out if we're not. Is that, is that the trees or is that, is that a river? It sounds like water. Oh, I love going through the woods. The woods is my favourite thing. Being out one with nature. Look at this place. Well, we don't know what to do. We need to go over there, but we can't. Listen to your mum. <laughs> <laughs> we now don't know where we're going. Onwards through the cabbage field. Oh my God, my shoes are gonna get so messy. I don't know why I didn't bring some like walking shoes. But look at the cabbages. Cabbages for days. Why is there just a random Purple colored cabbage. Are they Brussels? What? I thought they were cabbages. I've been calling it cabbage. <sighs> God's sake. If we actually have a look, we can see the Brussels there. The Brussels field. I've got two muddy feet and a lump of mud. Oh, what's this cat? This is Brussels doing. Look at that. Oh, God. That's what you get when you walk through the fields with uh, no more shoes on. I shouldn't be walking in. Oh my god. So we basically we can't go over here because there's a massive fence and we've been like walking around. We have walked right around this whole field, all the way down there, all the way around here. Can we get can you get through? You can! Oh perfect. I was gonna say we walked around all this way and then we might have had to have gone all the way around again, but thank god I don't think we do. Right, going over here, there's a train. I've got the photographer Brad. <laughs> Taking pictures of a sign. It's great. Right. Oh, oh, over. Oh, the train line. Mate. Stop, listen, live. You know what? That would be a decent picture, that would. Brad, this is a this is this is a spot. And I finally made it back in one piece. That night, I got really bad food poisoning. Like I was throwing up the whole night and I just could not film anything. I it was like really cold, I was shivering, I was just really, really ill. I think it was something that we ate at one of the pubs we went to. Uh so we did we did like a 10 mile walk to go to this pub and then I got food poisoning, which is great. But I'm feeling so much better now, so I'm really really happy. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on another video and I will see you very very soon with another video. See you soon. Bye! Woo!